Hey guys, it's been on the last part. I ate a pizza. No, I finished two stages. Now, you may be wondering... Um, nothing actually. But I will say, this is failed attempt number four, okay? The first two were based on a really annoying jump in the first bit. And the last, and the other failed attempt was, um... This red gem. Crystal. The other failed attempt was, uh, during the final ending thing, oh. You know how last part, how I said, I bet ya, the special stage, the special bit would be based on Chase, uh, beating a ghost? Maybe they were playing like Mario Kart and it's like, beat your ghost, and they were like, ah, oh, let's see, let's make a joke on that. I feel like that was it. That, I know that, I know that crystal over there isn't a gold one. And I definitely know that you can pretty much do all this. So I'm kind of going to be speedrunning a bit of this, because I, I bet, I kind of know the stage now. Unfortunately, after playing through it and just failing. It wasn't as much failing, but, yeah. So anyway, you may be wondering, well, you kind of rocked the other two that you just did. The other two racing thing I was, and you did, and I, I think you beat the third one pretty well. Yeah, this one just is terribly annoying, okay? You know how uh, the next room is a good example of it? You, okay, so rooms like this. I'm okay with rooms like this, because it will be easy to judge jumps, okay? It's like it's rooms like the next one, which really drives me up the wall. Um, just on like how ludicrously annoying, Blah! ludicrously annoying the jumps are. Okay, so you see where you jump where you have a shadow. Okay, I want you to take that knowledge and attempt to use it in this next room. Okay. Because the ending is, both of these rooms have similar thingos. It's dark. Now I was okay with, I'm okay with a tw with a light coming up, and I'll allow you to see, um, for shorter for shorter so periods of time. My biggest concern with with it is that when the light runs out, you can't see like where you're going and stuff. Now imagine that initial darkness for the whole of that racing bit. Now I'm going this way because um, there's a big key at the end of that first bit. It was insanely hard, that end bit. I'll point out where the other jump was. But yeah, I was nine minutes into that into that level. And I, I didn't make it out alive, so I was just like, stuff the recording. I don't want to nine minutes of me failing. Maybe it'll be like a bonus video. For, for the most part, I'm just going to reiterate whatever I've been saying. Um. Yeah, now I'm getting mad at the game. It's a good game. I, I don't know why. I just get mad at games. I think it's just because I find the challenge level is extremely high, especially on a game that I grew up with. That being said, though, the, the main game... Besides that one jump that I died on quite a few times, and I'll, I'll be pointing that out when we get to it. It was like, you know where I got that silver key? Just, um, in, in the dark bit, uh, just before? The jump after that, that is the one that really annoyed me. I, I finally figured it out, how to do it, but, um, yeah, it just took a while to figure out, and I was just like, Aah! And I was pulling out my hair, except for the fact that I got a haircut on Friday. Uh, as I said again, I was recording this on Saturday, so it's not the right Friday. This jump! Look at this. Okay, it looks like a regular jump, but it's actually a fair bit further away. You think they'd be working on, like, a grid, so to speak? But yeah, you see how I kind of barely made that jump? I was, like, right on the end there? Like, I could have grabbed it and all, but... Yeah. Other than that, though, it's not too difficult. Uh, the two chests just behind me, they blur. No, um... Uh, the two chests behind me, they just, um... They just give gems, crystals. Like that. The only one you need to break is this one. I remember that. Don't bother the other ones unless you really want some more crystals. 
Speaking of which, if you're crystal, if you're crystal grinding for one ups, which isn't really the best tactic to be honest. Um, it's not the best tactic, uh, but uh. Yeah. This bit is painful. These tiny platforms. They're not the really tiny ones, but they're tiny enough to just be t severely annoying. And they're so annoying, I, I'm jumping back on them. See, these big platforms, I'm okay with that. So thankfully I made it out of all of that without losing any lives. But that being said, there are no lives along the way. So yeah. It's one of these. Now, yeah. So you're like, oh yeah, it's just generally dark. But it's like they pull two of these. And look at that. The lighting. The shadows don't... I'm in the dark on those tiny platforms. You may be wondering, well that's not that bad. Oh, wait till you see. Not this. But hold on. This. I think really slowing down so I can grab that key. Huh, strange, I did it on my first go. That being said though, that is still severely annoying, those three jumps and the fact that the you're just too far away for the lighting to work. <laughs> How did I spend nine minutes on this before? Maybe it was just time. I spent kind of lazily idling. So thankfully, we're done. Almost. Almost. But we're done with probably the, more, the most annoying bit of the game, perhaps. Yeah, not even the last levels have as hard um, bonus bits. At least not that I remember. I, I don't remember anything. Ah, oh, gosh. It feels good to get out of that. So Cactus Jack's ranch. Ranch. So what kind of boss is this? Well, it's a... <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Oh, goodbye. No. <laughs> He's just like, no. Okay. So what annoying stuff can they pull at us? Well, firstly... The first annoying thing is that they give us an extra life. An annoying position, yes, but they give you one annoying life. Or one life. And I'm like, thank you very much for giving me a life. It should be kind of a requirement that every stage gives you at least one extra life, shouldn't it? I mean, you're going to make mistakes, and considering the fact that they give you five in one level... Five in one room of one level. Oh, see, look! They give you two of them! One of them's, like, right in the way! The other one wasn't that difficult to get to. In fact, you know what? That bit wasn't even that difficult. Because now I'm up to the boss, and the boss... is a little bit difficult. First of all, he's got machine guns for hands. Then he does, like, a tornado thing, oh, which is actually kind of weird looking. Just wait for him a bit, and... He plays the cartoon sound effect. He gives you enough time, he gives you plenty of time to hit. Watch out for his machine guns for hands! That's a nail gun. Cactus bow, oh goodness. This time he'll just actually try hitting you. Okay, and then you know what he'll do? He'll do the worst. He'll keep shooting at you! And then he'll do this! And then he'll go to the center and then he'll start spinning around! really quickly, but if, but the room is kind of rectangular, so if you stand in like a corner or something, you won't get ya. You know what? That was a s terribly easy stage. Uh, the cactus moved. Huh. <laughs> so, guess where we are now? Not the Fido Burrito, but... The Tower of Power. Yeah, we're up to Dante's Tower already. Now you may be going, what do you mean? Are we at the end of the game? Kind of. Still, you know, the worlds are rather long, but to be quite honest, I think these ones are actually a little bit easier. 
Just because I don't think they have those tiny platforms. For the most part, they go on a lot more uh, larger and just moving platforms. It's based around moving platforms. And precision jumping. As you can see from this first stage. It's still difficult, yes, but it's not as precise. It's more about reaction timing. Yes Maybe going, what the heck is going on down there? I'll give you a good answer to that. Because there's two extra lives down here, that's nice. Very thank you, game. Oop. Too bad I have to go through all that again, but... You know, you were kind enough to give me both a crystal and a gobbo there. Okay, up I go. The music is quite nice. And in fact, I do like quite a few of the level ideas they use in this last bit of the game. Such as this, for example, you know, a large tall tower and you just gotta climb it. At least at the beginning. I swear that was, that looks like there's something above. Maybe going, what the heck? He's <laughs> like, what the heck? I either botched something up, or I have no clue what I just did. Oh, I, get, I understand this. No, I don't. But I'll try to understand it. Oh, that keyboard, man. Glorious. Push that. Oh. I see where they're going with this puzzle. And you may be going, what the heck? You're up to world four and they're suddenly introducing a puzzle out of all things. Well, yes, what kind of game doesn't have puzzles? Call of Duty. So I think the trick is you gotta try and keep moving these platforms so that you can get enough grip on the next one but without like stuffing yourself over. Or up. Please don't ask how that happened and why did they lock the doors behind you? No, actually I'm gonna push this box over here. And then I'm gonna push it over here a bit. Push this one over. Here. Ugh. There you go. Now I'm gonna push you a bit closer, so I can keep pushing you, or not. Uh, you know you're taking too long when the music stopped. Pushing. Okay, that's good. Oh, that gives me enough room to push the next one. Or possibly just jump up entirely. Woo. Ah, good enough. Ah! <laughs> don't mess it up. That's all I've got to say. Maybe climb all the way up that. Yay, platforms! One of them will be a uh, colored fruit, yep. How the- what? Oh, for goodness sake, huh? That took its time, didn't it? More jumping! We seem to be changing towers, aren't we? Ah, oh, jack faces! 
Thankfully, they've given you quite enough lives to attempt to get through all it. Okay, go, 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 go! Move out, move out! Uh, ah, 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 ah. For goodness sake, I guess you can't attack on that. Oh, there, you can jump on top of it. I wouldn't try. Maybe you just stand back and then go. Well, that worked. Am I on top? I'm gonna wait until that's moved a bit. Come back down! Oh, goodness. Yeah, I can see why people are now complaining about the camera, because, goodness, they're doing some tricky things. What? Ooh. Oh, of course they put a secret around the back. Who wouldn't? What, really? No secret? I'm okay with no secret, but... It, it seemed like a viable opportunity for a secret, especially when I'm down one gobbo somehow. Why are you... PSX lagging? Yeah, you're going like, ooh, stairs. Ooh, fancy. You'll see those stairs quite often. Nah, uh, don't break that box. It's gonna bite me in the back side. And again, that box. And that all these boxes. What do I do with the box? Is it under this box? No, oh, that's just something. It definitely seems like there'd be a switch that would break, that would open some platform somewhere, wouldn't it? Puzzle solving. Oh goodness, I am not used to it. So if I break this box, whoa, whoa, what, what, where'd you come from? How the heck do I get back? Leap of faith. Downward works too. Oh gosh. Oh for goodness sake. Oh gosh. Someone's gonna be cringing at my bad playing. I'm sorry. I I just really cannot remember any of this. Goodness, I I <laughs> Pumpkin, what? What? Oh gosh, that jump is a bit funny, I mean, yeah. Ooh. And then, oh goodness. Yeah, if I died now, I'd be like, ah! Speaking of which, why do I have four crystals but one gobba? Something's going on. And it's making me feel very uncomfo. I don't like feeling uncomfo. Oh, oh, why do I hear someone laughing? Why is there a platform there? Jeez. Why is there a platform there? Ah! Oh, I understand where this is going. Again, I've taken too long because the music's finished. Huh. Oh, oh, because the crystal's in there. Yeah. Puzzle! What happens now? Oh, it's gonna annoy me with these freaking rotating platform yo's. And there's a timing. Oh my gosh! I'm going off rotating platforms onto a moving platform. The timing is just... Oh, for goodness sake. And again, where are all these gobbos? Unless if they're all stacked at the end, which is very strange. I've, I've really observed all these places. Oh, pendulums. Get you every time, okay. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, yeah, I guess I'll see you kids next time.